Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to speed up footage or do that fast forward effect. And we're not going to use any plugins or anything like that. I'm going to show you how to do it naturally. All right, I'm going to drag and drop some footage here. It's in my project panel already. So you just drag and drop some footage in your project panel if you're following along. Then drop it into the timeline like this. And presto, we've got a puppy dog and he's doing puppy dog things. You will probably see something like this because I've got a few panels open. I'll just quickly scan through it here. I've got it at half resolution. And you'll see as I skip through, we've got this cute little weenie dog doing pupper things. And he's just, just looking in the mirror. Lovely. Great, great shot, right? Okay, cool. The next step is I'm going to trim this composition because it's a bit long and it does take a little bit of processing power. So I just want to teach you the technique. So I'm going to trim it to about six seconds here. And then I've gone ahead and I've reduced the side here to here. <laughs> Work area end is what they call it. And bam, now I go up to composition, trim comp to work area. So we're just working with these six seconds. Okay, perfect. Now, the next step is you want to go down to the bottom left here of your After Effects, assuming you're on the default panel. If you're not on default and you're on standard or something like that, left click on default. And then at the bottom, you're going to see a few options. You have the transfer controls pane, which I've opened. That doesn't do what we need. And we want to also expand or collapse the in-out duration stretch panes. That is a mouthful. This is how you go ahead and increase the speed or do the fast forward effect. Watch what I do here. If I want to go down, I'm using the stretch. And I'm going to go to 25%. Let's say 25%. Let's, okay, cool. You'll also see that what was a six-second clip is now a minute and 16. Let me just hit preview on this for you. And it'll do the first one from RAM, and then it should do it over again uh, the correct way. But what's happening here while we get this is this puppy dog is going to be sped up rapidly. So let's just go through the end here. Boom. Puppy dog, fast forward. There we go. That's how you do it. I'm going to hit Command or Control Z if you're on a PC to undo that action. And I'm going to show you now how to do it so that you can separate a segment of this. So let's say the puppy dog walks in, and then at one second when he looks in the mirror, right about here, this is the part that you want to fast forward. This can be a little tricky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to Edit, and I'm going to go to Split Layer. Now, what's happened is, is the first one second is on its own layer, and then the last five seconds are on its own layer. So we've got two layers here, but let's say I only want from two seconds to about four seconds until he looks down. That's about where I want. Yeah, let's go to four seconds. Yeah, do you want to do four? Yeah, let's do four seconds. This is the part that I want sped up. I'm going to go to edit, and I'm going to go to split layer again. So the top layer and the bottom layer are all split off, but it's this middle component that we want to speed up. Now... I'm making sure you're selected on the piece that you want to speed up. You want to go then to reduce the stretch. And I'm going to reduce it to 25% to make it nice and obvious. And bang, there we go. OK, 25, yeah, I got it. You'll notice that it's now only not even a full second here of what we've had three seconds. And now it's under one second. It's not even close. Um, we've gone ahead and stretched it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play again. Puppy comes in regular. Puppy does crazy stuff. Again, that's going through RAM. We're going to let it run through, and then I'll show you how to stitch it all together at the end here. Regular, super fast puppy, and then regular. So what I'll do now is I want this all to be, I don't want any of that missing stuff. So I'm going to take this top layer, and then I'm just going to drag it back so that it all connects. And then let's see what happens here. I'm going to go back here. Regular, fast, slow. That's how you speed up a clip in After Effects, and I like it even a little better than uh, Premiere Pro for this type of... You can go in a little deeper, and you can be a little more granular in what you do here. So, anyways, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.